Fallen Walls, Session 3. Chairman of the Holzbrink Publishing Group and Jury Chairman of Falling Walls Venture 2013. After the fall of the wall, living abroad, one felt immediately that the joy over this peaceful democratic revolution came together with a raising of Germany's profile and its responsibilities. I have the real privilege to host the session three, which will bring you from the remotest frontiers of the universe to the smallest particle of nanotechnology, from entrepreneurship to the imminent problems of healthcare. So first of all, to give us a good start, up will be Dan Schachtman talking about how to start up a nation. And he's the best person maybe in, on earth to tell us about it. If you look at what Israel has accomplished in the last 10, 15 years in the internet world, from ICQ to Waze, many startups have made international fame and brought it to claim. In a, he has over 10,000 followers, but not, these are not the loose followers that you will find on Twitter. He has the followers made by himself in, in the institute where he works as a professor, Technion, in Israel. So this will be a very good start for the session. Second will be Anita Goel. Anita Goel has actually two alma matres, and I think if you talk about them, these are the best that you can have. Um, they are one, the Stanford University, and second, now at MIT and Harvard. She is also a very entrepreneurial woman and CEO and chairman of a company called Nio, a nano bio sims because she works on the frontiers between nanotechnology, biomedicine, and physics. So whenever you feel something under your skin that goes deeply and changes and rewrites the DNA to uh, sort out an, a disease, or if you look at plants who need to be better harvested in the future, it may be probably most likely that you come back to Anita and see her work. Um, the third, the third uh, panelist is actually the elephant in this room, which is, which is Rolf Dieter Heuer. He works, he considers himself to be the mayor of over 3,000 scientists, and as you well know, he has been sort of the midwife of the latest Nobel Prize in physics. Uh, he, came, he comes, he had a diploma from uh, Stuttgart, and later went on to chair the DAISY in Hamburg. So, Rolf Heuer is number three. Number four, you will feel, you'll find uh, Robert Kirchner. He is the astronomist uh, in, the, in today's session and uh, a professor at Harvard. And uh, he found out, together with the high Z supernova team, that actually our universe isn't what Einstein was saying, it's neither static know what Hubble was seeing that is expanding in a, in a uh, steady way. No, he found out together with the team, which later on got also the Nobel Prize, that the universe ex 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 is expanding at an accelerated pace. It is extravagant, and this is one of the huge bestsellers he has written as well. After him, we will come to Luke Steele's he is actually the dream of every publisher. He has published over 200 papers and 15 books in his, in his lifetime. He is today professor at the Pompeo Fabra Institute in University in Barcelona, and he is working on artificial intelligence. So I'm looking forward to see when the robots, the human age robots that he is uh, contemplating together with the uh, semantics and semiotics are going to develop their own language to write the many books in the future that we need to read. Last but not, uh, last but not uh, least, 
No, I think these are the five panelists. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I could go on because everybody's so interesting. Um, in the in the end, I'm very happy to announce my new function. I think it's in one of the others great startup ideas of uh, Sebastian Turner, which was the Falling Walls Ventures. This was a session where we saw 21 very precisely chosen startups yesterday presenting themselves to win a great award, which is going to become prestigious. Um, we, had, we, had a, we had the help of A.T. Carney to give us a, sub, a second opinion, and actually what was so interesting, the jury all conceded, consented in the end to one winner. Our criteria for the winner were three. The criteria were three. One, the startup needed to be truly innovative. Second, it needed to be do something good for humankind on the social perspective aspects, and third, it needed to be also economically viable in the future. So we chose a company which is called Sanora, and uh, Tobias Grab is going is, go is amongst us. We're going to present later on what he is doing, and the reason why we choose it. It is about, it, take, it talks about, um, it is a company that invent, invented printable OLED devices to enlighten us on the one side, and at the same time, it replaces iridium by copper. So getting rid of a rare material that the humankind depends on in many ways, and to choose a much more efficient and much more available one for the future. So it has been a fantastic choice. We had a, we had a great time yesterday. Uh, we saw many, many well-chosen uh, startups between biofuels, healthcare, plasma technology. All, I mean, there were a lot of, lot of very good contenders. But finally, we had to pick one, and well-deserved one. <coughs> this is exactly. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Tobias Grab from Sonora. Thank you very much.